In a landscape that inspired so much of Narnia, the improbable love story of C.S. Lewis, called Jack, and Joy Davidman unfolded at a place called the Kilns, the home of C.S. Lewis and his brother Warney, where they lived for 33 years, on the grounds where one can imagine Aslan traipsing through the woods, or Mr. Tumnus hiding behind a tree, the land consisted of eight acres of forest, lake, hills, and gardens surrounding a brick and gabled home. Jack and his brother Warren bought the house on the edge of Headington Quarry in 1932 on the site of an old brickworks kiln. That's the name. This is the house where Jack wrote all seven Narnian Chronicles as well as most of his other books, including The Screwtape Letters, The Great Divorce, and my favorite, Till We Have Faces. The house was a three-mile walk to Maudlin College at Oxford University, where Jack was a tutor of English literature. Joy first came to know and love the kilns when Jack and his brother Warney invited her to spend the Christmas of 1952 with them. It is there that Joy discovered its beauty where she met the gardener Paxton, who was the inspiration for the character Puddlegum in The Silver Chair. It was there that she discovered the gardens, where she eventually planted her own vegetables, and the orchards, which provided fruit for her jams and pies. She learned that in 1939, during World War II, children had evacuated London to stay with the Lewis brothers at this house, and that is when the idea for the Narnian Chronicles was born. Joy could imagine this as she wandered through the forested area to the lake. It is at the kilns where so much of their love story unfolded as they walked the property, cooked in the cramped kitchen, read, studied, and wrote in both the common room and Jack's study. It is the home where Joy and Warney became as close as brother and sister. When Joy permanently moved to England with her sons, Davy and Douglas, in 1953, it was the home where they relished in the freedom of the acreage, learned to garden with Paxton, played croquet, and for a while owned a horse Jack bought them. It is the house where Joy returned after learning she had metastatic breast cancer, and where she miraculously recovered to enjoy three blissful years of marriage with Jack. It is the house where Jack died in his brother Warney's arms. But The Kilns is, of course, much more than a house or a setting in the novel, Becoming Mrs. Lewis. It is a spiritual center in Jack's life, his brother Warney's, and of Jack's marriage and love story with the woman he described as the whole world. <laughs>